Do you have a favorite outfit? I know many people have their favorite suit, favorite dress that they love to wear and it just, it makes them feel good about themselves. For many people during this pandemic, it's been a favorite pair of pajamas, I think. And uh, that might have something to do with the elasticated waist. But whether or not you have that favorite pair of pants, there's an amazing line in this week's Torah reading where Rivka takes her son's favorite clothing. Bigde Esav Bana Hagadol Hachamudot. Rivka takes her son's absolutely best outfit. Now, of course, she's taking this to place it on her other son as part of a disguise. And that is an incredible story. How she lies, get her, her son to lie. And she does so through the agency of her other son's favorite clothes. Now, if these were Asub's favorite clothes, why are they being kept at her mum and dad's house? Question number one. And question number two, who is going to see these clothes? Wasn't Yitzhak blind? Amazingly, a couple of answers. Yes, these were clothes that, y that Asub would wear in front of his parents because he wanted to perform the mitzvah of honoring one's parents to the best of his ability. So he put his best clothes on. But then if his father wasn't going to see them, what would the purpose of that be? And here we have two amazing answers. Number one, he wanted to fulfill the mitzvah of honoring one's parents, notwithstanding that his own father was blind. Yes, it would be better if he could see. But Asaph said, notwithstanding the fact that my father is blind, let me do it in the best way possible to do something in the most honest and earnest way. And secondly, there's an incredible lesson that number two, we used to think of Esav as completely bad, totally evil, but it's not true. There were redeeming characteristics to his personality, honoring parents being the most famous example. And when we look at other people, even people that let us down, even people that we've tarnished with the brush of no good or bad or, God forbid, evil. Can we see within them a redeeming characteristic that allows us to see through their faults and actually at their righteousness? Shabbat Shalom.